to my channel. It is the month of April, so it's time for another favorites video. This month, we are still pretty much staying at home because we are still in a lockdown or so they call it circuit breaker. That's fine because there's really so much to be thankful for and being at home has again given me the chance and the opportunity to explore my home body side. So without further ado, I'm going to be sharing with you all my April favourites in just a bit. If you guys didn't already know, I'm quite a foodie. Well, I really, really love food and I enjoy um, eating well and taking my meals very seriously. So my first few favourite items will be food related. The very first one is a dessert from All About Tiramisu. They are tiramisu specialists, so they make the best tiramisus. Of course, the original flavour is their very signature rum tiramisu. It is Perfect. I ordered the large size one because they are so good and you can keep them in the fridge for up to about a week Especially if you order those with alcohol content So this is vanilla because I'm still breastfeeding and a lot of tiramisus out there in the market contain alcohol I am quite serious and strict about what I put in my body because I am breastfeeding Noah I try my best to get tiramisu um, without any alcohol content like this one. This is the vanilla flavoured one again and it has zero alcohol but it's still super super yummy. Um, the layers are done perfectly and it's just the right proportion of cream to cake to chocolate bits to everything and this is my go-to treat for any time of the day be it my tea time snack or my supper. Yum. The second item in my favourites is this Jita place that I recently ordered from. They are called Taste of Thailand at Midview City. Well, they are a Jita stall that offers quite a wide variety of like your usual Jita dishes. And my absolute favourite is this thing called the Lao Po Tang, or what you call like my wife's soup. This dish was actually specially created by this guy who has been cooking for 30 years now and he created this dish for his wife because his wife always craves for hot, delicious, comfort food like soup. And so that was one of the items we ordered and it was the best takeout jutha I've had in a very very long time. Honestly, I'm never really a fan of takeout jutha because I always find that it's best eaten freshly cooked when it's there. But oh my gosh, this was just so refreshing and so mind-blowing. I really enjoyed my meal so much and I am actually thinking about ordering from them again. I hope that if you are looking for ideas and options for your lunch or your dinner, you would consider ordering from them. They are a family business and in a time like that, I think your support will really really go a long way. I think the mom and, and her daughter are personally delivering the food. So please do support them. Not just because you know you want to support them but really it's in my favourites because it was delicious. My next favourite this month, another food item, are Mihun Kue, like ready-made Mihun Kue packets from the Tiramisu Hero. So here, these are the make your own Mihun Kue box. It is very very easy to follow, idiot proof I would say. There are cooking instructions right here and this is as good as you know the Maggi noodles or the instant noodles that you make and that you buy from the supermarket. It's very simple, just boil this in hot water, take it out, drain it if you want to eat it dry and all the sauces, even on the chilli, are all already packed in here. You can just add your own ingredients, add your own mincemeat, fry an egg and put it on top, do whatever you want, get creative with it and yeah, if you're looking for like really quick meals to cook for yourself, you can order these from the Tiramisu Hero. They are very affordable, I think it's $6. I gotta check on that, but I think it's definitely less than $10 for a packet of this. I don't know how or what they did to make this so delicious and so yummy, but I think it's the chilli. You have to go easy on it because it's really really spicy, but it's just damn shook. My next favourite is yet another food item and these are for people who love to cook at home. They are ikan bilis, mushrooms and scallops all in powdered form. So if you're looking for recipes, you can very well go to their Instagram page. It is the Lilo Premium Ikan Bilis Powder or Premium Mushroom Powder or Premium Scallop Powder. I add them to my soup stock, I add them to my cooking and to my food and they really add a nice flavour and a nice touch to the dishes that I cook. 
So if you are looking for recipes and if you're not like a super pro chef and if you're looking to make your dishes a little more tasty, they are not just very flavorful but the best thing is that they are really healthy, no preservatives or MSG and it's really fine fine quality. For example, this premium mushroom powder is made with 100% shiitake mushroom. No like salt or any other ingredients or flavorings uh, to make this any tastier. It's even suitable for your babies. So I also add this to baby Noah's food, especially his porridges. Ikan bilis especially is very very nutritious for him and it really makes the porridge a lot tastier. This has been a very good addition to the things that I use when I'm cooking and I would highly recommend it to anyone and everyone. So the next item on my April favourites are these airtight containers. I can't believe I've come to this day where I'm including plastic containers in my favourites. I've become like a mum or an auntie, whatever. But honestly, they are so good! And if you're OCD and if you want to keep your home in a very nice and organised manner, this is a definite must-have. They actually stack perfectly on top of one another. So depending on how you want to organise your kitchen cabinet, this is a very satisfying way to kind of put all your essentials, your dry food and items, without having them lao hong. So, highly highly recommend these. This is the second round of my purchase. I actually already got them quite some time back. It not only gives me that visual pleasure when I open my cupboard doors and look at all my pastas, all my oats and everything um, at one glance, but I find that I have more and more need for them. I mean, being at home definitely has kind of increased my culinary repertoire. Being at home has really given me the opportunity to expand and like work on my... Culinary um, repertoire. <laughs> exactly. But really, like, I started buying a lot more ingredients and items and dry foods that I never ever would pick up when I'm at a supermarket. For example, dried shrimps, red beans. I attempted like a red bean soup thingy recently. Of course, different kinds of pastas, oats, and seeds, and everything else that I use for my morning smoothies. So I needed additional space and I got more. So I'm going to put a link in my description box below on where I got these from. I think it's from either Lazada or Shopee. I'll put the exact one after I find it. So you can just click it directly and shop if you are looking for containers like that. Now my next item in my April favourites... I can't believe I'm saying this either, but... It's a TikTok account that I recently kind of got hooked to. So there are like a couple of TikTok accounts that I really like. I am officially on TikTok, I'm creating content on TikTok and I'm spending more time on TikTok than I've ever done ever before. So this is really a little mind-blowing for me too because initially when I was first exposed to the app and I was scrolling through and looking at like all the content on there, I was just like, what on earth? Until like I discovered more accounts and I started finding some value that it brings to my life and then I'm like, okay, I think I'm gonna jump on this bandwagon and, and here I am on it. So anyway, that's not the point. I'm not here to talk about TikTok but um, I'm sharing some of my favourite accounts on TikTok and they are Vlogging Lattes. So this is the account that I used to follow quite closely on YouTube because she used to do very very good workouts. But recently on TikTok as well, she's been posting so much and they are very very short snippets of simple workouts that you really want to try. It's very accessible and I think that is what makes it so desirable because you look at her and you're like, she's not even using any equipment. She's just doing tricep workout on her couch while watching television and I can do that. So it really motivates me on a day-to-day -day basis, especially when I'm scrolling through TikTok and looking at her account. I'm just thinking like, okay, yes, she's doing that and it doesn't look like it's too much trouble. I don't actually have to change out into a full workout outfit and set up a whole like workout station just to get my workout done and the, the short snippets are just like really really easy and she's doing great work sharing such workout videos on her platform and allowing so many people out there to be inspired by it. I recently also shared about keeping fit at home on my blog. I'm also going to link it in the description box below and I've also linked all the different channels that I subscribe to for my workouts at home. So if you're keen, apart from this TikTok account that does really good fitness videos, I'll put my fitness blog post in the description box for you. Another TikTok account that I really enjoy is this comedian. He's called Shem. 
I'm not sure if you if you guys have come across his profile before, but he does like the silliest and funniest deadpan humor kind of videos, and they really crack me up. I go to it just to get relief from a long day and they're just really funny and just senseless, so it's like my outlet here. So Mommy! Yes? Please bring water for me to drink. Come and take it yourself. Mommy, please now. If you repeat it again, I will slap your face. Okay. When you come to slap me, please bring the water. Jesus is love! I'll also link his account below so you can check him out if you have the same sense of humor as I do. <laughs> now going on to a baby favorite. It is this cute little bunny right here. I know Easter just went by like that and it's a little bit, I would say, sad that um, we didn't really get to celebrate it as we would in previous years. But nonetheless, Easter is like one of my favorite celebrations. Jesus has risen from the dead. This bunny is not an Easter um, present for Noah. He got it way before Easter. But I just thought it would be a little more appropriate to share with you guys um, about how wonderful it is and how entertained it keeps Noah. It is a talking bunny and it's really Hello. cute. So basically it just plays like the cutest nursery rhymes and it can keep Noah really really entertained for hours. So this was a gift from Callista. She actually sent it over to my place and it was really sweet of her to give this to Noah. I, I never knew something like this existed. Maybe I'm like a little dinosaur or whatever but it's so cute and so innovative and I think this will really grow with him. Right now he's just listening to it and being entertained by it but in future it can even tell stories, it can even record his voice and I think there are so many other functions um, and benefits to having something like that that I don't even know of right now. What's more is that this is not only just really fun and cute, but it will also help with this linguistic development. Some of the songs in there are really, really interactive. It would encourage him to put his hands up or, you know, like dance to the beat or turn around. And even Phoenix, I think there's a ABC version that goes like A, apple, a, uh, a, uh, apple, B, ball, b, b, ball. So it really teaches him a lot and I think it will be really really beneficial to get them started young. It's not really a deliberate effort to, you know, be that tiger mom and be like, hey, go learn your linguistics, but just including things in his daily routine and in his daily life that get him to subconsciously learn about things would be extremely, extremely helpful in the long run. My channel isn't a channel and my favourite video isn't a favourite video if I don't include any fashion items. So for fashion items this month, I've got two different brands that I want to share. One is a shirt and another one is a brand that I'm going to be launching on SDAH. Something really exciting but I'll get to that later. First up, it's this very very pretty blouse that I got from Cloud. So Cloud is a brand that prides itself on very beautiful pleated outfits they really do the most beautiful pleats. And while this is a very basic and simple blouse that almost anybody and everybody could wear, it's very flattering and very figure forgiving, I think the pleated touch really makes it very special. So while this is quite a wardrobe staple, I think having something else apart from a you know basic white shirt, but something with pleats would really add some variety to your wardrobe. I really like this because of the various ways you can wear it. I've recently shared on my IG stories some ideas. So one is to just wear it as an outerwear. Another way is for you to tie it here like that. And of course, the traditional way of just buttoning everything down, either letting it hang loose because of the pleats, so you can wear a more fitted bottom, or you can tuck it in um, with your pants. Next up is some exciting news. A new brand will be launching on SDAH. I'm collaborating with ATS The Label to launch a bunch of different outfits. They are really, really nice basic outfits that are very accessible in terms of price point. For example, this is just a plain simple satin dress which makes perfect lounge wear um, if you're staying at home, very comfortable, very light, you know, just very easy. I've got them in two colours. Uh, 
This is just a little preview. This is a top with a matching skirt in very interesting yellow. If you're into bright colours, this is definitely something that might interest you. Again, fabric, very very comfortable and very easy. They even have t-shirts with a little astrology sign right here. Really cute. So I got a couple of them. This is in size M. I'm gonna make this my team shirt, so everybody in my team is gonna get one. This is in size S. So there are two different colours, black and white, and each of us will have our little astrology right here. Really, really cute. And here, another one. This is gonna be like Team Mink outfit. So if you're looking for basics at a very affordable price and of reasonably good quality and a nice cut, you know where to go. So that is a wrap for my April favourites. I hope you enjoyed all the items and the things that I shared with you guys. I know it's a lot of home favourites, but that's what happens when you stay home all day. If there is anything more that you'd like to see, please leave a comment in the comment box below. Let me know what other products or items or categories of items you want me to share. This month, I don't have any skincare or makeup favourites because there's just nothing new that I try and really, really, really like and want to talk about. So my existing favourites are still my favourites. I'm still reviewing a few new brands, but if there is anything that would make it to my favourite list, then they'll appear in the upcoming months ahead. But otherwise, if there's anything at all, chat with me anytime. I'm always happy to talk. So I'll see you in the next video. Meanwhile, stay safe, keep healthy, and see you. Bye!